Okay, it's time to go after the boss. Oh, look at us. Did you see that? We murdered that slime. Get out of here, slime. That slime must be very disappointed in itself right now. Uh, Grove can go over here. Loco, just to flex, I beat the boss. My second loop. Damn, dude. Big PP. Very nice. Yeah, this is also, like, what is this? Like, my first or my second run? Something like that. We have, like, I don't know, like, one or two, maybe? Something like that. I think this is my second run in total. Yeah, and maybe it's the first, I don't know. Like, I'm still trying to figure things out. You got lucky? Wait, he just admitted you got lucky? What you meant to say is you got, like, skills. Oh, so now it's a Rensek village. The farmers couldn't fight off a hungry vampire. They could still fight you, though. Spawns up to four ghouls once per loop. Transforms it to something more useful after three loops. Don't ah. mind me just supporting Milo. Hashtag feed Milo. Low Thank you very cat, much, low Andy. Cat, low cat, low cat, low cat. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you for your sup. I will use it to buy cat food. Maybe food for myself as well, though. Is that okay? Can I feed myself as well? I, no, I don't personally eat cat food. Although sometimes it smells quite nice, to be honest with you, but... Only the cat loco, none for you. Oh, man. I also need food, Donation. guys. I also have a cat named Milo Low Cat. How is that possible? We were clearly the very first people to call our cat Milo, okay? Your cat is fake. That's how that works, Zach. Where'd you get a fake cat, Zach? Where'd you even buy a fake cat? He's very real, Loco? I don't believe it. Zek is behaving kind of sus, guys. I suggest we kick him out of the air, look. I don't believe this, man. He probably bought his cat at Costco. Yeah, probably. No, please, guys. <laughs> Vampire! So is it even worth putting down another mountain, though? I mean, it's fine, but I don't think you necessarily have to. Oh, I got a skill, a level up thing. You know what, guys? Now that I think about it more, I think... I think I might want to put my camera... I think this may be the final spot. I wonder if this is, like, the ultimate spot for the camera on this video game. I'm not entirely sure, but I feel like this might be it. Every morning, the hero's sword is filled with sunlight, causing it next attack to deal times two damage to all. Get a new set of tra traits. 1.5 times damage for every potion used. Oh no, one point. I was gonna say plus one point. No, let's get that one. Plus 10% or 10% chance upon hit of stunning target for one second. If your HP drops below 20, your regeneration is doubled. Damage is increased by 20% of defensive values. Sure. That seems nice. Uh, is that better? Yeah, that's a little bit better. 
Okay, here's another village. Actually, I should have put it in one up, right? Yeah, so the bandit can't... Yeah, that was a mistake, too. Hmm. This game is a little bit harder than it seems, Jet. Uh, we should probably place that thing down. Make a metal next to it. Yeah, you can use Oblivion, but I'm trying to save my Oblivions to use them on the boss fight. Oh god, there's like a whole load of enemies over there right now, though. A road lantern in that area would not hurt. I already have one, but... They stack, so... Seems like a good idea. Did we kill the boss yet? Uh, no, we didn't, but we're just about to uh, BB Sun John, so you came in at the perfect moment. As a matter of fact, uh, I was waiting for you to arrive. So now that you're here, I think we can f go and kill the boss. People in the chat was like, hey, hey, Loco, uh, is Sun John here? I was like, no, he's not here yet, so we can't kill the boss. And everyone was like, oh, okay, fine, I understand. But now that you're here, uh, let's do it. Loco, that's what you said earlier. No. John wasn't here. He doesn't know that. Uh, I mean, uh, this is the first try, John. We're gonna phase the boss. So far, this is looking real good, though. Like, not as good as John, obviously, but... Looking pretty good. Um... Let's see. Another road lantern. Put one down over there. Yeah. How does this game work? Basically, we're looping around in the... How could I... Like, what would be a short TLDR of this game? Because I'm going to get a lot of questions because the game plays a little bit differently. I'm trying to think of, like, a, th uh, a two-sentence summary for this game. It's like a, a randomized game where we're going around in a loop. And we're gathering resources to upgrade our camp. And every time we upgrade something in our camp, our base becomes a little bit better. And because of that, we're going to be able to hopefully get a little bit further in the run. There's bosses along the way as well, but it's like a reverse tower defense. Yeah, reverse tower defense is a good way of putting it. Is it like Minecraft? No, no, it's no, it's not even. Uh, so this is the cozy camp over here. So every time we get to the camp, I have the option to retreat fully. But since we're not a little bitch, we keep going. It's like Starcraft Loco. Sure. For you, yeah. Is that a mimic? No, 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 it wasn't a mimic. Hey, this is looking real nice, though. I'm gonna get a new power-up. Quest is done. Wait, how do you get these? It has a soul? Oh. Blood plots have souls, guys. The hero rushes into the battle head-on, and his first attack has a 75% chance to stun each enemy for one second. That seems good. Let's just focus on trying to get the boss down. Okay. So if you're watching this and you're like, what in the world is going on? If you uh, have any specific questions, feel free to let me know. It's just that I explained the entirety of the game not that long ago. So it makes it a bit... <laughs> it's pretty self-explanatory, I think. But it's a bit it's a bit different than most games. Can I just discard a card, guys? Is that possible? Can I just, like, get it out of here? 
I don't think so. Yeah, I could make exclamation point loop. Just make a recording and press a button on the stream deck. Stream, stream deck. Uh, what happened to the Rensec village? So there's a synergy apparently with the vampire mansion and the village. So apparently if you... Oh wow, it's not even a village anymore now, it's the Count's land. The village is thriving under the vampire's protection and its inhabitants are very generous. Ooh. Much like Twitch Jet then, huh? You guys are always very generous as well. Speaking of generous, have you guys heard of Twitch Prime? Or Prime Gaming? Have you guys heard of Amazon? Not the rainforest. Donation confirmed. You can reorder carts? Wait, how? Oh, thank you, Penguin Hammer. Thank you. Of course, of course. <laughs> I don't think I want to place down another one of these. Problem is, I really don't want to lose my, um... My Oblivion card. So I gotta be a little careful. A nice weapon would not be a luxury, I don't think. Wait, you can reorder? How would I reorder? Yeah, I think we're gonna oblivion one of those one of those camps. Hey, that's really nice. Another village. Alright. Oh, I should have used the Oblivion card at the front, huh? <laughs> I'm so dumb, dude. Like, seriously. I really wonder if, like, maybe when you play games, you make, like, moves that are equally stupid, but no one's there to tell you. But my god, am I an idiot. I'm pretty sure everyone when they play games, this is what I would like to think, okay? This is my only, my only, like, just let me have this one, okay? I'm pretty sure everyone when they play games make really dumb moves, but... If a tree falls in the forest, right, doesn't make a noise. If a StarCraft 2 caster sh shouts GG in a forest and there's no one there to hear it... Did he make a sound? I don't think so. I don't think a GG exists. Story of my life. Wait, you shot GG in the forest, Lodhart Nipper? Wait, hold up now. That was a tasteless tweet from a couple days ago. Tasteless has very good stream announcement tweets. Pew, pew, pew. Don't ask. All right. I don't judge, man. You do whatever you like, dude. Don't, 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 not my oblivion. Not my oblivion. Woo. All right. Dude, I've got so many fucking wheat fields! Fudging. Sorry, what did I say? Oh, I'm gonna switch that out because of vampirism. More vampirism? Sure, let's go. More vampirism! 38% lifesteal? Heck yeah! Hey, look guys, a Dutch guy is collecting wheat fields. Haha! <laughs> Get it? Because... <laughs> God, that's funny. Dutch guy. 
collecting wheat fields. Ah, That's hilarious. Um, I think we're gonna start stacking vampirism like crazy. 38%? I think it might be good on the boss fight, although I'm not really sure, but... I don't know, chat. I think I'll use Oblivion on the camp. Get it out of here. Is this the Lich run? Yeah, it is, Sumo. You came in right at the perfect moment. Wait, actually, you were already here. Shit, I can't pull that joke anymore. Got a lot of treasuries right now. Or like a bank. Can you just laugh real quick, uh, Sumo? That would be nice, dude. You can't pull that joke for the fifth time? What do you mean? I've been making the same jokes for many, many years. Vampirism on my shield? Sure, let's go. Is this the boss run? It sure is. I think we have to do one more loop though, but I think doing an extra loop is not so bad, right? Because doing an extra loop basically just means that I will get uh, more chances to get better gear. It's just that enemies also get more powerful. Um, 10% chance upon a hit of stunning a target for one second. Should we do that one? Probably best. Um, so I could technically play a lot of these cards and maybe we could unlock. Okay, I'll play one of these, and then we'll see how it goes after these fights. Like, we still have a bunch of battles to go. Maybe I can play enough. We'll probably discard some cards here, but that's fine. Maybe I can force the boss. So yeah, the, the, the boss is always spawned on top of the cozy camp. But it spawns depending on how many cards I have played. Well, I do a prediction. Well, I don't want non-believers to like lose all their points. So I would be, it would be very disappointing for, for non-believers, you know. Well, assuming I can start the boss fight, guys, I'm not sure if I can. So I need to still play a couple cards. I might be able to. My only concern here is that if I play it right now, I might have to face those enemies as well. <laughs> do you think if I play all of this, I'm gonna be close enough? Uh, I think so, right? Has to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still not? Okay, okay, there it is. Okay, let's do a prediction. Oh shit, he's got... Oh god, I don't know, man. He's got four palaces. I can destroy one. Can I... Can I put down a blood grove again? It roots devour enemies that have less than 15% HP. Does that work? Alright. Let's do a prediction, chat. Start prediction. Will I kill the boss? Yes? No? You can put your channel points on the line. I really like this feature that Twitch has added. Although I can't use it because I'm in the Netherlands and my government cares about me so I can't gamble with my fake internet points. But if you are in a country that does allow fake internet point gambling, um, you can um, potentially earn lennies. Just don't put too many on the line because you might lose them all, I'm just saying. Also, everyone with a two in front of their name after this situation will be banned. Okay, no, no. But maybe though? 
Bent. Get him. Get him out of here. Bent. Okay, fine, Craigsis. <laughs> Wait, I'm f I feel like I'm influencing the polls, guys. We should have stopped the count. <laughs> I had like a good 10% influence right now on the polls. I don't know, man. We should have stopped the count. 50k on the line, don't disappoint. I just want to emphasize that this game is complete RNG and I have no battle. Like, I have nothing I can do to make this battle better. But I mean, I've got full potions and I've got full health, basically. And I've got four wheat fields. Which we can, like, smoke afterwards to, like, celebrate after we destroy the bulls. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Fuck him up! How is it possible? Shut up, we've got a score to settle. Okay, one potion used. Uh, this is bad, guys. <sighs> what the fuck am I supposed to do differently? I lost 800 points. Those are rookie numbers, man. Heart never voted with 100,000. Wait! Heart never voted no with 100,000 points? He's gonna be a rich man. Dwarf Jern, I'm sorry for letting you down. And all 109 of you that decided to put channel points on the line for me to defeat the boss. Will I kill the boss? Well, that's one way to go up to a million. So Hartnepper got like what? 350k or something? How much did you just get, Hartnepper? 1.4 million go to Hartnepper and 47 haters. You got 300k? <laughs> Can't believe this. This is what we call redistribution of the channel points, chat. Stonks. Kalibrovka with the flex. 69,420 Lenny's wasted twice. <laughs> He's making it rain. The Twitch chat equivalent of making it rain. So wait, how, how was I supposed to do it any differently though? Because I was full potions, I had good gear, I had everything. I'm not even sure I could do it differently. Maybe I just got unlucky. Yeah, the three palaces fucked me up. Yeah. Yeah, the three palaces were too much. You should place better your mountains also. How should I be, um... Yo, what's up, Rushy? I am, yeah. I think I'm gonna disable the wheat fields. Because the wheat fields just sort of, like, I don't know. Three by three mountains and rocks? Yeah, but then how do I sprinkle the meadows around it? I'm not sure exactly what the best, like, build method is for meadows. We'll put symmetry back. Great mountains surrounded with rocks, then surrounded by meadows. But then you need like what? You need like five by five. You use the mountain around a mountain peak and rocks mixed with meadows. You use mountains around a mountain peak and rocks mixed with meadows. That makes no sense. Maybe we can just go village and just skip meadows. Or do you have to have two? No, I have to have two. I have to have both. Well, I focused all my skills on vampirism in the last run. I thought that that would be a really good idea, but for some reason didn't do it. I save meadows for the treasury. Meadows around treasuries and rocks on the corners. Yeah, maybe we should do it like that. 
I'll try and save my meadows. And then whenever we get a treasury, we'll bring that one in. Do you think disabling wheat fields is a good idea? I like I like the village, but I keep stacking up wheat fields, which seems kind of like a meme. Wheat fields don't seem to be as good. Okay, okay, let's give it a try like this. Because that was definitely the best run so far. And we still got smashed. Now maybe I just got a bit unlucky. Which I doubt, because, you know, we're amazing at this video game. And luck is, you know, obviously never a part of the game at all, but... Okay, so we'll try and save the groves. Or sorry, the meadows. So groves we want to build close to this. Cemeteries we'll build, I don't know, over here. Or maybe I just suck. True, Tenno. But I didn't really like that idea too much. Like, admitting that I suck would also immediately, you know... No, no, no meta. I don't... Uh, can someone please time out Tenno? His truth hurts. <laughs> Get him out of here. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Finally! Wait! Hold up now! If I didn't know any better, Tenno! Ay, ay, ay. Hey, Loco, you look tired. Tired of you, Air. Get him out of here. Okay. We're building like biomes, guys. I was going to time out. No, no. You gotta earn your timeouts here, Andy. Andy doesn't get to ban enough people, guys. This is a problem. I'm actually gonna put my village right over here. Make it a ransack village, and then eventually it becomes a big boy village. What's going on, Fufuzela? <laughs> Dude, Fufuzela. Isn't that like the, the thing? The boomer instrument? From like 2011 or something? AKA boomer instrument? How to get timeouts? Uh, usually in order to get timeouts and bans on my stream, you have to earn them. So, if you're being nice, you just don't get timed out. You gotta really work for them, man. There's only a very exclusive club of people that uh, got timed out on my channel. Ooh. Damn, ghouls. No, I think I want to mostly try and save the, um, the Oblivion cards, though. I, I don't want to use them on anything but the final fight. Because that's, I think, what, what cost me the run previously. So I'm going to try and not use any Oblivions. A broken longsword? Sure. Treasury. Uh, that's real good. Make a meadow around it. Got another grove. We'll make that over there. Uh, if your HP drops below 30%, your regeneration is doubled. 35% chance to perform a counterattack during an evade. Hmm. 
New subscriber. Hey, thank, thank you so you. much, Seno. Gifting five community subs. He gave us up to Sam, to Max, Visteam, MJ All Day, and Johnny B. Drudy. There you go. Thank you so much, dude. Yeah, I'm trying a different strategy now for the meadows. Normally, I try and get them blooming meadows, or get them to be blooming meadows for everything, but... We're trying out something new, chat. This may not be better, but... Maybe more foolproof. There's a massive mountain over here. With this, do I earn my timeout? Alrighty, Tenno. Tenno... Are you sure? I will time you out for a full two minutes. Slash timeout, 10 0, 120. Guys? Three hours? No, no, no. Perfect. All right. We have a 10 0 free stream for the next 120 seconds. Enjoy it, guys. Enjoy the freedom, the fresh air. Smell the flowers. Ah, uh, this stream is paid to Ben now. <laughs> Everyone party, man. Deno's missing out. A month! <laughs> Wait, no! Chat, no. I wonder if I should use one Oblivion on the Goblin Camp. Because these guys are really strong. But I kind of want to save my Oblivions. I think I should. Uh, maybe I should have done it right away. But now I'm gonna die again to the Lich, chat. Watch this, it's gonna happen. We're gonna seem smart, but now we're actually just gonna lose. Yeah, I think Oblivion on those camps is quite nice. Cause they deal with so much damage. We'll just build massive amounts of groves. More battlefields, more chests. We're making like biomes, you know? Like there's a forest over here and there's vampires and spiders and then skeletons and shit. Yeah. Another prediction, please. I like free Lennies. Excuse me. If I didn't know any better, I, I almost thought that that was disrespectful. Oh, it's not a freaking bandit camp. Ugh. Oh, right. The bandit camp appears when you make the second village. Do I yeet that one as well? Guys, this seems like a bad idea. Deno is back already. 25 euro for a two-minute timeout. Best deal ever. <laughs> That's a good deal. Yeah, I agree. If anyone else wants to... <laughs> Um... Should I try and focus on evasion? We'll try and do evasion. Uh, 
So we're now gonna be able to do somersaults as well. I don't want to flex, but... Give me some more. I have another village. I guess this one is easy to place. Are you placing too many, you think? Uh, uh, I think I'm just gonna let it as it is right now. I would like to have a better weapon, though. I thought you were supposed to be placing rocks on the corners of the treasuries. Yeah, probably better. But like, it doesn't seem like the rocks benefit from being diagonal. Because then it doesn't consider to be touching, I don't think. I heard five dollars a month. I hope you are happy now. Let's go, Meleki. Thank you, sir. Oh shit! I thought I paused. Uh. Like, if I put the... Uh, so, I could do it like this. But I don't... I, no, this doesn't seem to help you out very much, though. Like, this way, I guess my meadows are gonna be more efficient, but... I don't think this, this is a good idea. This seems dumb. Like, these share a lot of benefit... Like, these are really nice when they, um... When they touch. For meadows, give more when they are adjacent to something. Right. Yeah, but I, I understand that. But, like, now the mountains aren't touching. Only the small ones on the corners? Only rocks? Right. Okay, I could do it that way. New subscriber detected. It's got a neon. Almost three years. Hope you have fun. Low prime, low Z. Thank you very much. I am definitely having a good time so far in this game, man. Um, I should be able to face the boss here pretty soon, by the way. I have some oblivions and stuff. Hopefully, we can get some better gear by the end of this fight. Donation confirmed. You make me want to put this game there. Welcome. Thank you for the 200 bits. Alright. There's the boss. I only have one Oblivion. I can put down some more of these though and try and save up, I guess. I don't know, man. I still have my potions at this point, but... I would like to start stacking up evasion, but it's hard to, like, justify picking lower tier items just for evasion, right? Like, we need to get some, some good items here as well. Okay, well, that one's way better. Well, not way better, it's a little bit better. We'll just try and stack up. I 
do have a Blood Grove. <clears throat> blood Grove does work for the campfire. I already have a Blood Grove over there, though, but I guess... No, I can't actually place any more. <laughs> do, 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 do. New subscriber detected. Thank you very much, Doctone! Well, I mean, just gambling on one stat seems really dumb, right? Like, sure, I could, like, replace this one if I want to only go magic damage and get plus two more magic damage, but at the cost of 8% vampirism attack speed, that seems really dumb. Maybe I'm wrong, though, but that seems like a bad trait. God, I have so many enemies here. Yeah, I would like to get more evasion, but I mean, I don't really get a whole lot of evasion on my items so far, so like... I had some earlier, but those were low level. Like, should I really have stuck with level 3 items? I doubt it. A lot of spiders, by the way, guys. Okay, well, the spiders are not so hard. I feel like I'm one. Uh, I'm, I'm once again gonna get murdered here by the lich. I do, by the way, have another one of these. Okay, we can maybe heal up a little. Let's pick that one, I guess. The other ones weren't particularly good. So should I equip this? Nah. Okay, this one is more RNG, that's nice. <laughs> Slightly better. Nah, that's fine. Okay, so we'll try and aim for evasion. So this one is 8% evasion. Go. Uh, I still have the Oblivion, obviously. We use Oblivion over... well... Yeah, I'll just, just get rid of it. I only have 8% evasion, chat. I've been aiming for evasion for a while, but I'm not getting it. I don't see us getting this. So, we can retreat right now, or we can fight the boss. I did get an Oblivion. So he's only gonna have one. I'm only at 689 health, but I've got a lot of health in total, though. What do you guys think? Do we fight him or do we not? I mean, I haven't gotten lucky a single time, so I mean, I don't know. I don't think. I don't think I should fight this. So what should I, what should I fight? Or what should I upgrade? I can make a cemetery, actually. A gloomy but necessary part of every village. Passing through the cemetery, an expedition fragment, or grants you a memory fragment, can resurrect the hero after an upgrade.
There's also the crypt as a follow-up, but it doesn't tell you. Uh, it doesn't tell me yet what it is. Crypt is good. Okay. We'll make a cemetery, guys. Thank you. Oh no, is that the graveyard keeper? It's a nice place, calm. There are some people, but quiet ones. They look a bit grim, but they can tell you many things if you can listen. What a lovely little village we have built, guys. Okay.